everyone. It's Frances again from York County Library of South Carolina. I'm here with a not-so-scary Halloween program. I hope you'll enjoy it. So, I'm surrounded by some of my Halloween accoutrement. I made this monster for a program at the library, and we threw balls and tried to feed the monster. I made these treat cans by spray painting them orange and then painting jack lantern faces on them. Oh, and look for a Lego tutorial for how to make Lego ghosts. But for today, yes, again, I have an activity bag. I like to call it a goodie bag. And so all kinds of things today. You have two word searches and two mazes. One of each is on the easy side, one a little more difficult. Then we have a cootie catcher. Remember how to fold those? I'll show you. We also have a little Halloween ghost craft and a little Halloween bat craft. We're going to make those as well. And then a couple of other fun things. So let's get started with the cootie catcher first. All right, the cootie catcher has pictures on one side and this blank on the other. So the first thing is lay it down with the printed side up, fold it in half one way, open it back up, and fold it in half the other way. And try to line the edges up as carefully as you can. Okay, now turn it over. Take one corner, fold it to the middle, and just go around and do each corner, fold it to the middle, one more time, okay, then you're going to turn it over again. And you're going to fold the corners to the middle. Okay, so you've got the big pictures on one side. Now, fold it in half again, fold it in half again, then Slip your fingers inside and voila. Now, have a friend pick one of the pictures. I'm going to pick spider because I like spiders. So then you spell it out S P I D E R. Now, have them pick a number. I'm going to pick five. One. Two, three, four, five. Have them pick another number, um, number three. And there's a joke there. And it says, when does a skeleton laugh? Open it, lift up the tab. <sighs> when something tickles his funny bone. <laughs> so there are some great little Halloween jokes there. See how easy that was? Have fun. Next, we're going to make a little Halloween bat. So we've got a little bag, and in that little bag, there's a toilet paper roll, a rectangular piece of black paper, a set of bat wings, some little white cutouts. Let's see if I can put these up on the paper so you can see them. Bat teeth, if you want to use them, and two googly eyes. So you're going to need a glue stick. And I'm going to put glue all over the back, one side of the black paper. And you should work on a piece of wax paper or newspaper or something so you don't get glue all over the table. I'm putting it on top of the plastic bags. So I don't get it all. 
glue on my tabletop. All right, now I'm going to place the toilet paper roll on the paper and I am going to roll it up, just hold it for a minute, press it down, just make sure that it's going to stay glued. So on the back side where the seam is, I'm going to put some glue in the middle of the bat wings and I'm going to glue that right on the back like that. Okay. Now, this part is a little bit tricky. You might need someone to help you with it. Kind of push the sides together and down and kind of fold it, that gives your little bat ears. See? I have my wings kind of high. I think I'm going to move them down a little bit, like that. Ooh. Now, if you want to, you can do this on the bottom as well, but I'm not going to because he stands up better with it not done. Some of, your googly, some of you will have googly eyes that already have glue on the back. Some of you will not. So if you don't have googly eyes with glue on them, you'll need to put some glue on them. These are already sticky. Okay. And let's put on a couple of bat teeth. Oh, his wings fell off. If the glue doesn't stick well, find some tape and put a piece of tape to help hold it on. Sometimes you just have to hold it there for a while. And let's do another bat tooth. And there you have a cute little Halloween bat. Good job, everyone. Inside your activity bag, or your goodie bag, is another little bag it's got some pieces of white crepe paper, two ghosty arms, and a ghost face. And in your bag is also a little white paper plate with a hole punched in one side. So that's going to be the top of your little ghost. You'll need a pair of scissors to cut out your ghost face. So we're going to cut out the big round circle. Is the ghosty mouth. And you've got two ghost eyes. Now, if you don't like this ghost face or you'd like to make your own, you can take a black marker or a black crayon and draw any kind of ghost face on the, your ghost that you want. So now, all right, turn your paper plate over with the hole at the top and you're going to glue on your ghost face. So I'm going to start with the mouth, just put glue all around. And now the eyes. You can make a silly ghost face if you want to. You can make a laughing ghost face. Oh, I think I put my mouth up too high. I'm going to move it down just a little bit. Ooh. 
Now, the ghost arms are going to go on the back. So we'll put some glue. And we're going to, oops, that one goes on this side. Okay, like that. Ooh. And some glue on this one. Trying to make scary ghost sounds. All right, now the crepe paper strips. You're going to put glue on the back side here, and then you're just going to put the crepe paper strips there. So I'm going to put a bunch of glue. And then there's the front. So you're going to just put you could start from one side, go to the other side, because you might want to put some glue on top of the paper that you've put down already. And you just keep adding strips. You don't have to use them all. You can if you like. And there you have. I think I'll put the last strip down. I'll put it on right here. So get some string, put through the hole, and you can hang it up. You can make a lot of these and hang them all over the house or from trees in your yard. Ooh. Inside your goodie bag is, what could this be? You're going to fold it and glue it and make it into a box. So just fold back these tabs. And then fold this as well. All right, so now you've got folded. I'm going to put some glue here and here. Go ahead and stick those together and put some glue on this tab. And then put, make sure there's glue on all the tabs and then it'll kind of fold itself together. Now, once you've done that, you need to hold it together. And let that sit for just a minute. In your activity bag as well, there should be a little piece of black Paper. This is the pumpkin stem. Put a little bit of glue on it and then stick it to the back. Now, you may be asking yourself, what am I going to do with this little pumpkin box? Well, have you ever heard of Pong where you bounce a ping pong ball and you try to get it into a container? That's what we're going to do with this one. Also in your activity bag is a ping pong eyeball. So, what you try to do is, and I'm not very good at this, you try to bounce it. See, I told you I wasn't good at this. And get it to go into, almost. Now, here's a tip. You might want to use something to hold the pumpkin pong container. This is a little bit of what's called fun tack. Or you could put something heavy in it to hold it. That would help it not move around. Oh, you can't see way that can you? All right, let's try this again. 
go. See, I told you what I wasn't good at this. This is the last time I'm gonna try, but you can try as long as you like. And we have one last activity inside of our goodie bag. Hmm, what could it be? Ooh, a monster. And a cup. And a bag of treats. That's right, we're gonna feed the monster. So you'll need some glue. You can use your glue stick. I'm going to use some craft glue. Keep it all around. Top of the cup. And then I'm going to turn it over. There you have the monster. And it's a very hungry monster. He's saying, feed me, feed me. So, you can take your treats. You can put the cup on the table like that. Or you can put it like this. Oh. Mm, yum, yum, eat them up. You get the idea. Happy Halloween.